Hi everybody, welcome to UNS EduTech's Physics Concept Sessions. In this session, we are going to discuss about Archimedes principle. Archimedes principle is one of the most important concept in physics. Before going to the mathematical details, I will show you an experiment so that you will understand what is Archimedes principle. So in order to show that, I have a spring balance here and I have a beaker with some water and I have a weight, I am using a cork. So here you can see, if you, if you apply some weight on this, Gra downward gravity force will be acting as a result spring will stretch and you can see the reading. So here I am going to attach this weight on this. You can see roughly the reading is around 55 grams. Okay. Now here water beaker if I am if I am taking this beaker or if I am lift if I am immersing this weight into this beaker you can see the reading will go up or there is a weight reduction happening. Here look at this, see you can see now it is approximately 30 between 25 and 30 the reading you can see the reading. So here the weight reduction is happening because of the thrust provided by the liquid or we can say whenever you are immersing a solid body in a liquid you will experience a buoyancy or up thrust will be experienced. Actually Archimedes principle is giving an exact mathematical quantification for the weight reduction happened or the upward buoyancy effect. So here when you are dipping this mass you can see there is a displacement the volume is increasing in the beaker or the level is rising in the beaker. So here weight reduction have some connection with that increase in volume. So Archimedes principle is giving a connection between the weight reduction and the volume change. Archimedes principle says that the weight reduction happened is exactly equal to the weight of the volume displaced. So that, uh, that principle will give you uh, automatically the buoyancy force. How much will be the buoyancy force? Because the, exactly the buoyancy force will be equal to the weight reduction happened. Now let us go to the mathematical aspects of Archimedes principle. Assume that the volume of the cork we used is V and sigma is the density of that cork. Density is nothing but the mass of the cork divided by volume of the cork. Now let rho be the density of the liquid. Here we are using water. So rho will be equal to mass of water divided by volume of water displaced or in our case when you are dipping that uh, cork into the water that much water is the same volume of water will be displaced okay now we can find out the the, the if you are considering the weight before dipping into water that weight is nothing but the gravity acting on that body that will be equal to mass of the cork into g okay so here this much will be the tension on that string now here we can easily find out the weight uh, weight of the liquid displaced. Weight of the liquid displaced we can find out. First we can find out the mass of the water displaced. That will be equal to rho times V. So here weight will be equal to M water into G. That will be equal to rho V into G. Okay. Here this is called buoyancy force or this is exactly the weight of the liquid displaced and Archimedes principle says that the weight of the liquid displaced will be equal to the buoyancy force or the weight reduction happened will be equal to this quantity. So we can call it buoyancy force. Fp will be equal to rho into V into G. Now Fg we can replace, Fg we can replace with density. So Mz will be equal to sigma times V. So we can write down Fg will be sigma times V into G. Now the net tension we can find out because downward Fg is acting and Fb is acting in the opposite direction. So net force will be equal to or the tension on the string will be equal to, we can take the difference of these two quantity, will be equal to F gravity minus F buoyancy. That will be equal to F gravity is the sigma times V times G sigma v g minus you can say rho v g you can say the net force acting will be equal to the net tension on the string will be equal to sigma minus rho times volume of that cork into 
acceleration due to gravity. So this will give you the net tension because of buoyancy effect. So I hope all of you understood the concept thoroughly, the concept behind Archimedes principle. Now if you wish to learn like this through experiments, then uh, after exp experiment we are giving a clear mathematical explanation, then this will help you a lot in retaining the concept for a longer duration. Usually students buy hurt and here we are trying to avoid that. So I hope all of you enjoyed this session and uh, you can subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this and uh, try to stay tuned with our channel. We'll come up with as, uh, a new video soon. And uh, if you wish to uh, join our offline or online sessions, you can register in the Google link given below. I mean Google form link given uh, below the video and our counselors will get in touch with you and you can get more details about our programs. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon with some other video.